Hey, this is Presh Tallwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. Here's a problem from a fifth grade Chinese textbook. In the quadrilateral ABCD, angle A is equal to 90 degrees, angle ABD is equal to 40 degrees, angle BDC is equal to 5 degrees, angle C is equal to 45 degrees, and the length of AB is equal to 6. The puzzle is to find the area of quadrilateral ABCD. I thank Eric from Miami for suggesting this problem and for sending a solution. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So how can we solve this problem? Well, I'm first going to present the long way, which is to solve with trigonometry. This is the way I would have solved the problem, but it's actually not the way that students would have been expected to solve it because fifth graders would not have learned trigonometry. So I'm going to show this method just to show how you could solve it using trigonometry. It's going to be rather complicated and I'm gonna go through it very quickly and I'm just gonna assume that you can figure out all the trigonometric steps along the way. So let's solve this and then we'll see by comparison the correct method by which they expected students to solve the problem. So let's get started. First, we'll solve that angle ADB is equal to 50 degrees and then angle DBC is equal to 130 degrees. Next, we'll calculate that the length of AD is equal to 6 times the tangent of 40 degrees. Then the length of BD is equal to 6 divided by the cosine of 40 degrees. We can then use the law of sines to get that CB is equal to 6 divided by the cosine of 40 degrees times the ratio the sine of 5 degrees over the sine of 45 degrees. Now that we've calculated some of these values, we can calculate the areas we want. Now triangle ABD is a right triangle, so we can calculate its area as six times six times the tangent of 40 degrees all over two. We then need to calculate the area of triangle CBD. To do that, we use the formula for the area of the triangle in which we know a side, an angle, and a side. This formula is to multiply the length of one side times the length of the adjacent side times the sine of the angle in between and you divide all of that by two. So we substitute in the values we have using side CB, BD, and the angle in between. So now, to get the area of the quadrilateral, we take the area of ABD plus the area of CBD. You can use a calculator to do this. I don't know how you would simplify it otherwise. And you end up with the answer of 18. Wow! How does it all come down to 18? What's the trick? So here we go. The incredible trick is to flip triangle CBD upside down. So we'll focus on triangle CBD and now let's flip it upside down. Now notice that angle ADC is equal to 50 degrees plus 130 degrees, which is equal to 180 degrees, which is a straight line. Next, angle ABC is equal to 40 plus 5, which is 45 degrees. And then angle ACB is equal to 45 degrees. So what we have now is that ABC is an isosceles right triangle. And the area we want will be the area of this entire shape. So we can simplify this to be an isosceles right triangle. One of its sides is six, so the other side is also equal to six. The area of this triangle will be its base times its height divided by two, which is six times six divided by two, and that's equal to 18. Amazing. This is unlike any problem I've seen in a math class, competition, or a test. What a neat simplification. 
Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. These math videos, which can be watched for free, inspire and build confidence for people around the world, and they already have over 100 million views. Let's share the beauty of mathematics. With your help, we can math the world a better place. Please subscribe for free to get the newest videos, watch and share all of Mind Your Decisions videos, email me a puzzle or math topic, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. If you so choose, you can check out my books, which are linked in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon to earn exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.